Hi everyone, my name is Donna Loudon and I want to welcome you to my classroom here on YouTube. Today's video I want to show you how you can list products on an IGWIG store. Um, I prefer IGWIG even over Spotify and um, it's just an easier thing for me. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing of course is I'm going to log in. Now if you never been on um, IGWIG before, you'll need to create an account. They do have a free account where you can list, and I think it's up to 10 items. My account is a paid account because I have a full-blown store, and I need to list more than the 10 items. So once you log into your IGWIG store, this is the first thing that you're going to see. And over here on the side are all your action things. And in order to list items, you're going to go to catalog. So I click on catalog, you'll notice that these different things drop down. Your first step, of course, is going to be to create a category. And so you're just going to click on that. Then you're going to click on add root category. You're going to name that category. I'm just naming it testing because it's not a true category for me. Then you're going to go ahead and find an image on your computer that you can put there that represents that category. You can do basically whatever you want. I'm just going to put pretty flowers there for now. And then you're going to go up here and you're going to click Save. And that gives you your category. Now you're going to come over here to where it says catalog again, but this time you're going to click on product. And there are going to be all the products that are listed in your store are going to be on these pages. And you'll be able to scroll down and find the products that you want. Now if you want to add a new product, you're going to go here where it says add new product. And then you're going to go ahead and fill this out. So let's start with a picture. And I have some items ready, so I'm going to use those. You can do more than one picture. Which in this case I will. Well, there's our pictures as they're loading up. We're going to do a title. Now, I like to come up with my titles and um, my descriptions ahead of time so I can just copy and paste them in. I don't have a title for this, so I'm going to call it Lavender Short. And matching headband for 18 inch doll. Okay, so now you have your title for your product or the name of your product. Now you're going to put in your description. I'm just going to copy and paste the one I've already put together. And that description goes here. So I'm just going to paste it in. You can type it directly into the description box, or you can have it ready ahead of time. That really is totally up to you. I like these to be a little closer, so I'm just taking out the, spot, the spaces in between. It's just my preference. You can do it however way you want. Okay, and then you're going to assign it to a category. So you're going to click here where it says assign categories to this product. I'm going to click on that. And this, of course, goes into the dog, which is in the kids shop. You see dolls and bears. So I just cl I clicked on the arrow before kids shop and it shows the categories that are within kids shop. 
Notice here, dolls and bears. So I'm going to click on that. And then here it says 18 inch doll clothes. So I'm going to put this particular listing in 18 inch doll clothes. And then click apply. And you'll see right here that it's showing you where that item is placed. Then we're going to go up here. We're going to put a price. And then in stock, you're going to put how many you have. Um, and this one, we just have one because we have one of a kind items. So I put one. Everything's done. Attributes, I don't need to fill that out. Brand, I could, but it's really just our, those are our brands. And I'll put Donna Loudon Designs because that's one of my designs. But you can put your brand there, UPC if you want. I never fill that out. Options, if you had this available in several colors, you could add options for that. If this was a downloadable, you can make, you know, you could add those files here. Shipping, um, this product requires shipping, so you want to make sure you have that enabled. Taxes should already be set up in your store, so you would just say enabled. Your SEO, this is what it looks like in search engines. You're going to see lavender shorts and matching headband for 18-inch dogs. The website, you know, so it's, it's pretty nice because it's showing you exactly if somebody was to Google, um, this is exactly how it would show up on the website. Related products you could put here if you want to. A buy now button. Um, I don't use that one because I'm using the store right there in Igwood. So I am basically with this item because I don't have any other options. All I'm going to do is double check the shipping, make sure shipping is enabled, make sure taxes are enabled, and then I'm going to click the save button. And now it has been saved. You can come up here where it says view whatever your store name is and click that and it will bring up your store. And then you can find your item there. So we put it in Kid Shop. We put it in Dolls and Bears 16 inch doll clothes. And we go through here. And here is the listing that we just created. So we're going to click on that. We see the listing along with the other photos that go with that listing. So that was really simple. It's a very simple system to use for listing in the store. And that is one of the reasons why I like this particular um, platform, because I do find that it is rather easy to list in. So I hope this helped you. Um, the other thing that I wanted to add is once you have a listing, like say you have other shorts that have, you know, for the 18-inch doll that have the matching head plan, all you need to do is go up here and say duplicate product. And now a whole new product has been created. And all you have to do is change your pictures. So. Um, I'm just going to delete these and then come over here and I should have another try to find one that's just the shorts and headband. So well, here's the green one. So we would just upload the pictures for the green one. Let 
might be the only picture I have with that one. So here I'm going to just change this to green. And everything else would stay the same. So I don't have to change the price. I don't have to say, change the quantity because there's still one. I don't have to change the category. Um, I do want to make sure that feature on store's front page is disabled because I don't like the product um, showing up on the front page. But once you've just done that, now I'll hit save. And the whole thing has been saved. Okay, and if we go back to the store, do a refresh. <coughs> we would see that now we have the listing for those particular green shorts with a matching headband. Okay, so the final thing that I want to show you is if you have something listed already and you want to add to it or take away from it. Now, in this case, I do because I was selling some items like I would sell a pair of shorts or I would sell a skirt and I changed things so that I would be displaying sets for all the doll clothes. So there's a couple of things I'm going to change. So I'm in the kids' shop. I'm going to go to Dolls and Bears and 18-inch doll clothes. I'm going to go there. It's going to show me everything that is listed in the 18-inch doll clothes. And this one I'm going to take off because I am now selling it. So I just deleted that product. And I'm going to go up here to the one we just created. And I'm going to put that image in there as well of those shorts. And I think, I'm not 100% sure where those shorts are. I think what I'll do is I'll do that later. But you can add a picture there, and it makes it really easy. If you find out later that you found another picture, or maybe you took a better picture, and you want you want that picture to, to be the one, then you can go ahead and change it. So here's the green short. So that adds to that picture. And I can easily switch these. And that kind of gives them a better view of the shorts. It does say matching headband, and they'll see a picture of the headband once they click on it. But this one gives them a better view of the shorts. So I decided that that would be a better picture. So if we go over here, I'm going to hit refresh again. go down and it says green shorts and matching headband and notice the shorts is what they see and they click on it and they can see the picture that it does come with the headband so that is basically how we would do that now this skirt right here also I created a headband to go with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit back so it will take me to the same page. Here's that ruffle skirt for 18-inch doll. Now, you know, I found it, of course, in the category that I want. If we were already there. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to copy and paste this, only these. This is a skirt. And everything else is the same. And if there's anything else like this is Instead of saying one pair of shorts, I'm going to say one doll skirt. 
So when you do that, so you can just change the parts that are applicable. You don't have to change the whole listing. And that does make things a little easier. Okay, and then what I would do here is I'm going to add the picture. I just really like this. I just feel that it is so easy to work with. And this goes to eight because it comes with the headband. So the new one, save. So now when I come here, So this one I have to change it in ruffle skirt with matching headband for 18 inch dogs. Then I can save it. Okay, now I'm going to hit refresh here. Ruffle skirt with matching headband for 18 inch dolls. We go here and we're going to see the various pictures. Okay. And that listing is also done. So basically what I did in this video was I showed you three different ways that you can list on Amazon. Or not Amazon, I'm sorry. <laughs> on Etsy. You can take a listing that's already there and make changes to it. You can take, um, which is what we did here, you can add photos to any listing. You can create a listing just by hitting add new product. Or you can duplicate a listing by hitting duplicate. Now, if you walk in here and you thought, oh, I have another one of these skirts in a different pattern, you're, you can go here and do the duplicate. See how it says duplicate right there? So I hope that this video helped you in learning how to list items on, et on Eggwig and how to check and make sure that the listing is exactly the way you wanted it to be. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day.